Hope you don't mind this ambient lighting situation we've got going on. Good morning, how are ya? I am back after a week of a hiatus. And the reason that I took a hiatus is because the only people who watched these videos were with me last weekend, so there was really no need to give any kind of update. So, good morning, how are you? Cheers, beaches. I don't know if you can read my cup. I think I got this from my mom. It says, when God created daughters, I was given the very best. I'm assuming this is something that my mom thinks, and because the only daughter I have is that one, and she doesn't really count. Um, oh, well, good morning. Would you like to say hello? Say hello, people. Just been doing a snooze this whole time casually. Can you sit quietly for 10 minutes? Okay, we'll see how long this lasts. Um, clearly not very long, so. Mm -mm. Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome back. It is... Um, earlier in the morning than I usually wake up but I'm trying to do this thing where I wake up earlier because I go to bed earlier so that I can actually be a productive member of society because the problem is that um, I have gotten into a bad habit of waking up semi early but then just kinda you know dick it around until <laughs> about 10 or 11 and then I don't really get anything done in a day uh, so the good news is that the gym that's closest to my apartment is now open. The bad news is that when I wake up at about 9, which, you know, if I get to the gym by 9.30, down around 10.30, get home, ready by 11, and I could actually, you know, do something since I'm not working, but what ends up happening is that, oh no, don't, don't fight guys, it's okay, no need, no need for the fights. Oh, also, hope you like this little bow tie the little guy's got going on. I'm not sure if you can see it very well. I might have to adjust the lighting settings on my camera if I'm going to use this setup in the future. But at any rate, so the gym is now open and it's within walking distance. So I was very excited. However, if I get up at about nine, that means that I'll probably lay in bed trying to wake myself up and just kind of enjoying the last minute morning snack girls for about 30 minutes to an hour and then I gotta walk the little guy make sure both of these little fur babies have food check their water give him his medicine and so by the time I really end up getting anywhere it's almost 11 and then work out come home get ready and then the majority of the day is almost over and on top of that, there's daylight savings, so it starts getting darker around about 4.30 to 5. So, you know, that really only gives me like three daylight hours before anything happens. So I'm working on getting up um, earlier so that I can actually get things done in a day instead of what I usually do, which is stay up late at night to do things and then sleep in during the morning time when I should be up and being productive. Also, I forgot to mention this is again my Dunks coffee with it's a pumpkin spice coffee or pump is it pumpkin spice? Yeah, pumpkin spice coffee with Trader Joe's crema and some maple syrup. So, what I've been doing the past couple days to prep for the gym is just having a black coffee beforehand, which if you're my brother, you think is going to cause a heart attack, but if you're literally anyone else on the planet, you know it just makes you sweat more and increases your um, heart rate, so it's working harder, I guess. or some, I don't know. It's not going to kill you is what I mean, so just pipe down over there. But anyway, um, so that's been happening since I've been back. I um, was also home for a little bit, so what had happened was we had our first thanksgiving here and it was quite a success if i do say so myself and i made turkey ham cranberry sauce mashed potatoes pies stuffing and like brussels sprouts and some asparagus um so everything for the most part turned out really well 
However, are you coming to say hello? Alright, well, just go wherever, you know. This is your house, too. That's why we got this big couch, you know, so we could all fit on here. <laughs> so everything, for the most part, um, you know, tasted great. We were good on time. I think I started cooking at, like, 10 or so, and we were done by 3. So it wasn't, you know, too bad. The only hiccup that we had was I got a pie plate at Target and I thought it was really cute. It said like gathered together or something like that. It was it was really sweet and you know I was already very um, in my feels about hosting my first Thanksgiving because I've never done that before. And so it was just me and the lobster and one of my friends and so I was you know just like very glad that I had you know, a little, little family for Thanksgiving, um, so, <laughs> so I put a Dutch apple pie into this pie plate, and put it in the oven, and when I went to take it out, I could see that there was a crack on it, and I was like, oh, you know, maybe it's just the plate on that side is cracked and I didn't think too much of it because I mean you know I'm sure maybe it's for some reason not able to handle the I think I had the oven at like 375 at that point which it should in theory be able to handle that much heat because it says it's um it's it's a pie plate like it's supposed to do that so when I went to pick it up it started cracking more and then the filling started dripping into the bottom of the oven and I was by myself in the kitchen so I had to call for my friend and was like, Friend, help, help! And so she ran over and um, we somehow with like a spatula and a cookie sheet pulled it out of the oven because the problem is like you would think, oh well you could just like, you know, pick it up and then pull it out. You could not because every time you tried to touch it, it would break more. And so while it's breaking and you're like trying to get it out of the oven, it's just like dripping everywhere. And so we managed to get it out of the oven. I'll insert a picture right here so you can see the aftermath of this Dutch apple pie mess. And yeah, so there goes my $5 pie plate from Target. But I mean, it didn't really matter. We, you know, we tried to eat some of it out of, out of the pin, out of the pin, out of the pie tin, uh, or not the pie tin, out of the pie plate still, even though it was like broken beyond repair. And um, someone had told me that like you can repair it and uh, that we should have just kept the pieces and washed it. But at that point, it was basically broken into like, for uh, like a quadrant I guess and so there was really no saving it at that point I just was like you know what I'm just gonna cut my losses and say that uh, I just need a new pie plate for next year so that was really the only thing the apartment filled with smoke which was not the best but luckily I have a fan in the kitchen I have a box fan and so we just kind of you know opened the doors and windows and sucked all the air out and um yeah, but it was really good. It was really relaxing, which was nice. Um, we went and saw Crystalia the next night, and that was really fun. Um, but yeah, so it was a very great Thanksgiving, and then I went and saw my family, and we had a little more family time together, and yeah, so it's it's been a good November, or well, it was a good November, so it's now December. Uh, I finally put up my Christmas tree, which I'm looking at now. It is a beaut and um, very excited. Although, another like quick little fun something that I can throw in here. So, in the past, I mean, obviously, I've always had neighbors because I live in apartments, you know, and even most houses out here, you still have neighbors. So, even though... I've never really met any of my neighbors pretty much anywhere I think that I've lived in LA. Um, when it comes to Christmas time, I have never really noticed anyone decorating all that much. I feel like I'm usually the most festive in my building. You know, for example, last year, I think, I think for Halloween and Christmas, 
Um, actually, it had to have been two years ago because I was here last Christmas. So two years ago, when I was in my old apartment for Christmas and Halloween, I was the only person who, like, put decorations on my door and, you know, like, had any sort of, like, festive thing going on. And in that apartment for Christmas, I had this really tiny tree that I could only fit on, like, my kitchen table because it was a studio. So, like, why am I going to try to put more stuff in there? So this year, or no, last year, um, I got a Christmas tree as a lovely present. And so I put in my tree. I, I believe I did window clings last year, too. I never really hang up lights outside my apartment because, I mean, I don't even know where I would plug it in short of using like an extension cord so I just kind of leave that you know and like the most like anyone besides me can see are like my window clings because I generally keep my blinds closed because I don't care to see my neighbors because <laughs> I don't know any of them um so this year and I think this had to have been either on Thanksgiving or right around some of my neighbors started decorating for Christmas, which, like, awesome. I'm all for it. But there's one neighbor that I have that is just going balls to the wall this year. They have, like, candy canes out, blinking lights, like, a wreath on their door, uh, icicles hanging on the ceiling. Like, because, um, like, I'm, I'm on the bottom floor of my apartment building. And so, in theory, like, this wall that I'm looking at is technically my apartment, and then the one next to me is my uh, manager's apartment. They have, like, that wall over there. So, in theory, if I wanted to, I could, but these people, like, they have, like I said, like, icicles strung up, the bushes in front of their apartment are full of lights, they have a Rudolph up there now, and, like, it's just so extra, and, you know, like, my little Christmas loving heart is very excited, but also my inner like competitive person was like, these brother puckers are trying to out Christmas me. And I listen to Christmas music pretty much all year. It's my favorite time of the year. Like from Halloween till New Year's is like the best. But what I will also say is that Christmas on the East Coast is completely different than Christmas here. Like, Christmas here, people aren't as excited about because, like, everybody leaves L.A. for Christmas time. So it's just, like, a ghost town, essentially. But there, Christmas is, like, cold and snowy, and, like, they decorate the trees in all different parts of town. And it's it's just truly a magical time, you know? And um, so I was actually, I'm glad to see it, but also kind of, like, these bitches that turn out Christmas me. So I put up my tree and everything and now I'm festive too. And yeah, so I am not sure what's to happen next. Uh, we got the last month of the year and this is it. And you know, I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, just, you know, trying to get through the holidays. So I'm going to uh, close this one out because it's candle day at Bath and Body Works and so I'm gonna get me some eight ninety five candles that are usually twenty five dollars. So yeah, I'm all finished this here coffee and you know, apparently just sit here with these two. Um thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry if I seem very uh, you know, out of it or kinda low energy. Um but I usually am not up this early so I'm just, you know, trying to do a hard reset of my brain and so yeah I will see you guys next weekend hopefully more energized and awake than I am now. You say bye to everybody.